Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to create quizzes on Camtasia and how to share them. And on one note that to make quizzes enable on Camtasia, it must be uploaded as a TechSmart TechSmith video format. So right now I am using a media clip as an example for me to create quizzes on. And I have markers that I've set for me to make quizzes on here. So to enable quizzes onto Camtasia, you click on interactivity here in the left hand corner. And you click add quiz to timeline. And you create quizzes on timeline based off where the time head is on. So another way to enable quizzes is through here in the bottom left hand corner. Right here I turn on the marker and right here I can turn on quizzes. I can use control Q to enable or disable it. So right now I've created quiz 9 from this playhead and I can move the quiz playhead onto the spot where I want to have the same marker that I have for making my quizzes. So right now it's underneath the place I want to make the quiz in and on the top right hand corner I have the descriptions where I can have the type of quizzes I want so I can set the multiple choice right here so the question can be like choose A and the answer can be and I'm setting the quiz for multiple choice and I say the answer is choose A so have that and you can also display feedback so if the viewer if the person watching taking the quiz got it right they correct and you can have an action to follow up with it so continue means to keep watching the video once the person gets the question the quiz right I can go back to the URL, jump to a time, or jump back to a mark. And if, if the person is correct, incorrect, you can say like, try again. And the same thing with your following actions. And you can also add more than one question for each quiz. So I can add another question here and create like another multiple choice format. So I'm going to set different quizzes for different sections on this timeline so this one I have it fill in the blank so I'm gonna click here make quizzes so on this green bar I can create a quiz like this I'll just create a quiz 10 and I'm gonna name this fill in the blank and set I can fill in the blank like the dog jump over what animal? Now fix my errors, and the answer can be cat because that's what I have in my PowerPoint here. Or cat, and I'll set another quiz here using the time head for short answer. Here to make another quiz. What does this chart implies? And then this can be a short question. And I can add one more quiz. Right here I can add quiz to timeline using this, true and false. And I can make this true or false. So the question is everything is relative. Everything is true. Okay. So once you're done making all your quizzes for your video, you click here to have a preview. So right here you're previewing true and false so I put true because I already know the answer to that true here and you click view answers to see if you get it right or not and same with here 
come here click on quiz 9 and then you click here to also preview it and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna preview the phone the black one too so I just cat my answers then yeah you got it correct for quiz 11 what did the chart imply so I made it spelling error so preview this so there's a text box for me to enter again it implies something expand answer so right now this is all preview and now oh right here you could set the quiz option so you can change the quiz's name and you could set the option for viewers can see the result and you can also score the quiz so, so in order to share this you click on the top right, top right hand corner you click share and I recommend sharing so there's two places you can share with you can share a local file a screencast if you choose local file you should do with mp4 smart player so that enables the quizzes to be played and then you can also share using screencast and then you can type in your information here so screencast is where you upload your uh, TechSmith video in order for it to enable the quizzes so I'm going to enter in my information so right here I can name the video title quizzes and I can give it a folder can get your studio next and right here you can report quizzes through your email where it's going to be sent and once the person that takes the quiz and watches the video the report will be sent on every night and right here you can allow viewers to take quizzes anonymously and you can also require viewers to input their name and email addresses here and right here you can allow viewers to skip the quizzes so I'm going to click finish so right now I finish uploading to our video and our quizzes onto screencast and right here is the format it's in so it asks me to input my first name and last name so right now I'm watching the video on screencast and it's playing right here indicates where the quizzes are marked at right now this is a smith tech so I'm gonna take the quiz now after watching the video and I'm gonna say the answer is A to the answer and yes I got it correct and continue on I made another question so I'm gonna submit answer and I got it correct for the next question and I can let's continue continue watching on the video so right now I'm taking this quiz the dog jump over what animal and I say it's cat answer oh got it correct so right here you see all the bookmarks I've set the markers okay now I'm gonna take the quiz for this one what does the chart imply and I can say in my opinion alright And then this one, because now everything is relative, and I put true that they are false. I must false. Oh, got it wrong. And then I can refresh the page here on screencast.com. And your video for your um, quiz is uploaded onto here, ready to be shared, edited, and viewed. And you, and when you upload it, upload 
the video onto your local file you can also save that onto your website which it can be embedded and play for your website once the viewer have finished taking the quiz and submitted their um, answers the report will be generated and sent to your email like this right here and along with the quiz report it will send in two files that gives you the information that the students have taken.